might have seen last week, I was down in London at the Department for Education as I was invited by the new Education Secretary for this sort of welcome meeting. And I thought I'd share some of my thoughts off the back of it. The first thing to say, the building is huge. It doesn't look big from the outside, but when you go in, oh, it's massive. It makes you realise just how many people work within the DfE. So Bridget Phillipson, the new Education Secretary, arranged this sort of welcome evening with stakeholders where she made a speech and the idea is about resetting this relationship between the government and the education sector. Obviously there was lots of different people there. I would say though that I was very much in the minority as far as people who are still teaching and doing the job. I had the pleasure of meeting lots of different people. I met Vic Goddard who is a head teacher if you remember Educating Essex the TV show he was the head teacher of that school lovely bloke had a great chat with him and it was funny when I was meeting these people and some were like oh so what do you do and I say oh, I'm a teacher I'm a primary school teacher they always like oh really oh so you're you're an actual teacher it was very much that sort of vibe and I felt there was with certain people they clearly weren't a fan of how outspoken I have been on certain issues but the fact they actually had some people who are still doing the job in class teaching is a real positive compared to what we've had before. And when I post about going down to London, there were so many comments from you all, majority of them really positive that it's great they're engaging and speaking to someone who sort of represents and speaks on behalf of teachers, which I don't necessarily think I, I, I am, but it's a real privilege to sort of be recognised like that and I'll continue to speak up for our profession. But then there were a couple of negatives where people are like, you know, you've got to be very careful because they're just going to take advantage of you and it's wolf in sheep's clothing and they're all the same. And I can't agree with that. They are not all the same. Trust me, from speaking to some of the civil servants in the DfE, it is like a completely different atmosphere it was very much this idea that we've actually got adults in charge for once and we know this from the moment michael gove became education secretary 14 years ago and was coming out with quotes about how people of this country are sick of experts what we have seen over that time is just a constant eroding of respect and valuing teachers as professionals and because that's come from the very, very top, it's filtered down into the media, into the general public's view of teachers and educators. And he's one of the reasons that we're not bringing people into the profession and people aren't staying in the profession. Having the opportunity to speak to Bridget Phillipson, and if you've not listened to our interview on the podcast, please do go and listen. It's well worth it. You will hopefully get the same feeling of hope that I have with this new government. But I also had the pleasure of meeting Catherine McKinnell, who is the new schools minister. And the feeling I got from them is that they really value and respect the incredible job that teachers do. I'm not saying is that means that all of these issues we're facing within education are now sorted. It's not gonna be overnight, it's not gonna be quick, and it is not gonna be easy. But it is so refreshing to be able to engage and to speak and to have people in charge and in power who actually value and recognize teachers as professionals and recognize the incredible job that every educator, support staff included, the incredible job that they do. I do have a little bit of hope, but just like the football, it can be the hope that kills you. I just feel a bit of a buzz and it was the same in the room that night there was a real buzz of optimism that we finally have people in charge who recognise the struggles, recognise the job and what it entails and will hopefully start putting things in place that can finally start making education the brilliant job that it, that it should be. It was funny though, there were a few people in that room that for the past few years have been championing the reforms that the Tory government have made and defending them. But all of a sudden now, a sort of jumping ship and sort of say, actually, Labour are going to make better. Ch Those sort of chances, not for me. I was very outspoken about the previous government because I was at my wit's end with what they had done to our education system. And I will be holding this government to account and speaking out on things that I don't necessarily agree with. But the fact that they're engaging... The fact that I've been able to speak to them and the fact that hopefully I'll be able to carry on that conversation so I can really get across 
what the reality is of teachers and support staff working in schools day in, day out will hopefully lead to some real positive change. Time will tell, but already a week in, you're already starting to see with certain things they are moving in the right direction, which is a positive. And the fact that they are engaging with people who are actually doing the job and, and listening can hopefully only be a good thing, but it isn't going to be overnight. It's not going to be a quick fix.